Hi, it's me Balamurgan. In this video, we are going to talk about read database cleanse function in Oracle for Informatica MDM MD971. So, this is the agenda today. We will quickly overview on what is read database cleanse function and what is the usage overview and tips and tricks. And we will have a quick demo on that how to create a read database cleanse function. So read database cleanse function is available under misc function section in cleanse functions uh, I will show you the uh, demo and where exactly it is and it allows a map to look up records directly from the database table so in this function is designed to be used when there are many references to the same limited number of data items if you want to look up that particular data maybe you can use that read database cleanse function and this is a powerful one and should be used with a caution so there may be a performance impact if you are not using it properly so careful when you are doing it uh, this read database cleanse function and this database lookups should be coded only if the standard configurable lookups do not work for the use case because we have uh, many lookups available so maybe you can use that one uh, instead of going for this read database cleanse function so we will have a quick overview on how to use this one and we will have uh, some tips and tricks on how to use the in inline db functions within this read database function so read database function is uh, to extend and enhance the cleanse function library by using the native database function we need to trick this database function we have to you know call inline db function and not to perform lookups where due to this nature of input and output parameters maybe you can see this in this uh, pictorial representation right and there is a lookup column 1 and column 2 lookup data 1 and there is a written column and uh, you, what is the value you want to you know retrieve from the database and I will show you this one like uh, you know we, we can use the table called dual you, you know all that right so we can name we can pass that name in in a table name uh, parameter in this one and after that you need to pass a constant value of uh, lookup column 1 and lookup data 1 as 1 lookup column 1 and lookup data 1 so now it will generate a SQL in the background similar to one shown below like like select database function from dual where 1 equal to 1 so in this database function maybe you can use some inline um, you know DB function I, I will quickly walk you through uh, a sample one uh, now in your screen right you can see this is a read database cleanse function so in this cleanse function I am using dual as my table name and 1 equal to 1 that is a var condition uh, based on this lookup column 1 and lookup data 1 and clear cache this is a clear cache maybe I am just returning as false I will tell you why we need this clear cache uh, boolean parameter and this is the function I am just uh, using that as a concordant value let's say I am just uh, trying to find a length of a string what I am passing that as an input so I want to find the length so I am just passing this length uh, function with this open brace with a single quote and then input and single quote closing and uh, you know close brace for this one so what is the input we are passing I am just getting that as output in this particular one and what is the record found flag when it is found it will say true or false and if it is a if it is found in a cache flag in uh, I will show you that uh, demo like um, uh, what is the use of this uh, false or true this clear cache one now I am just uh, going to you know uh, quickly test on this particular string like how many characters it's displaying so now I have 11 characters so it is returning this 11 and the cache is true so this particular value is available in the cache I mean uh, whenever uh, there is a query which runs it will have select length of and this input let's say my my name from dual where 1 equal to 1 
so this is the query which will fire and what is the use of this particular cache let's say I'm clear cache it's if if I'm passing that as a true value then it will always checks in the database so it will it will hit the database and then get the information like I'm just giving it as a Balamurgan again so the cache value is false that means it's not picking up from the cache so again and again if you change any value so it will hit the database and then get the output like how many characters are the, num the length of the string and it's returning this false when you say cache is false what it will do it will check the cache whether it's available there or not I need to save this and let's say my value Balamurgan and the first time it will say it is not there in the cache and next time onwards it will be there in the cache so it will say true so even then you have some values passed here and it will say at the first time as false and next time I'm just changing this value to again back to this Balamurgan so it is getting it from the cache but it's not hitting the database so that is the use of this uh, you know clear cache false or true this boolean value which you are passing and you can check that out in this particular second one found in cache flag or it's not found in cache flag based on this boolean value okay so this is the summary for this particular read database cleanse function and uh, you know don't use this and uh, produce any performance degradation because it will hit the database and then uh, fetch the value so if you have a huge number of database hits there may be a performance impact so ensure your read database function should not affect the performance we would like to hear a feedback from you and you can send a mail to support videos and informatica.com or you can follow us on Twitter with the info support handle. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Bye.